Hello and welcome to Orbiting Brick. And again, sorry for the delays. Uh, there was a bunch of chaos in my life uh, this uh, previous weekend, which meant uh, I could not get my uh, video done in time. But uh, I uh, still hope that you enjoy it. And so this, oh, it's also a pretty ambitious mission, I'd say. So we're starting off with the uh, first of the uh, many launches in this video. And it's the core of the Mun base we're gonna be building. Yes, yeah, I built a Mun space station. I may as well build a Mun base, and do some other surface stuff as well. Unfortunately, that other surface stuff is gonna have to wait for another time due to aforementioned time constraints. But we can still enjoy the building of the base. You can see the core module. It's made out of made out of a bunch of stock-like space station parts, redux uh, parts. 1.875 meters in diameter, with uh, various habitation and uh, service modules. And basically, this thing, it's uh, pretty self-sufficient with its uh, solar panels and antenna on it. A future module is where uh, more advanced life support systems and actual scientific capabilities. You can also see the uh, Ford airlock with its uh, stairs down to the surface. Once again, this is a, a base which will be horizontal. And so now, first module is up, now time for our second module, and third module on the same launch. All the uh, launch vehicles in this video are in my Ursa Major, as, as shown in the previous video. If you want more details about it, and go to those videos, basically it's a uh, off-brand mini SLS. And so not much to really talk about until that fairing is deployed. So, I'm gonna do something I haven't done before. I'm gonna ask for if you if you have enjoyed this video, would you consider subscribing? Apparently, uh, asking for subscribers early on actually does increase the amount of people who subscribe. So, yeah, I'm trying that. Anyways, uh, going on from uh, that uh, same shameless uh, self promotion, you can uh, barely see the uh, two modules. Those are the, uh, the uh, life support and. Uh, on some module I was talking about earlier, and uh, you can also see their tugs to arrange them on the on the uh, core. This was definitely not the first attempt at launching these. There were various issues uh, before this final attempt. And uh, and well, there's not much really to say about them. Yeah, their science module is just another stock like space station parts, redux part, and the uh, life support module. Is some universal stor storage to uh, service bays, a bunch of kerbalism parts uh, installed. So we can now uh, dock the uh, science module. I skipped the rendezvous because we have a lot to cover today, and if you want to see a rendezvous, uh, go to one of my other videos. I actually have a tutorial on uh, that, which should be linked about now. Also, I'm just gonna also ask for this. Would you consider commenting, just giving your feedback on the video? The views have been uh, down lately, so I want to know if there is anything I can do to improve these videos from the opinions of the viewers. That mean a lot. Anyways, we can now uh, dock the uh, life support module. And so, like, yeah, I did a bunch of editing on this. Again, there's gonna be segments where there's gonna be not much happening. Sorry about that. And uh, right now we're struggling to dock, as I didn't realize my uh, module was uh, misaligned on uh, one axis. And so, with some RCS maneuvering, I can uh, finally almost get the two modules aligned. And there we go. And I can use the uh, amazing mod uh, Dock Rotate to uh, rotate the modules to be aligned. As without that, um, the space would uh, not be able to use it even. And so you saw the uh, base uh, with all of its uh, modules attached. Now we're gonna need to we're now we're now gonna need some stuff to uh, get to the uh, mun and to the mun surface. This will be the uh, sky crane that uh, lowers the uh, base down to the surface. Again, standard launch vehicle. We hit with a, a larger fairing than usual. As I couldn't figure out a better way to uh, launch this, as uh, once the fairing deploys soon enough, we'll see it's 
an interesting shape. Any moment now? Any second now? Past 50 kilometers, why are you going to deploy the fairing? And... Uh, thrilling commentary, I know. Yeah, seriously, I try my best at editing this, but I had very limited time, as mentioned prior. Yeah, you can see, it's a across fuel tanks. Which... That was a interesting uh, shape to launch, and uh, yeah, I have no idea if the orientation I put in was really worth the effort. But uh, yeah, it got to space uh, anyways, and I guess it really doesn't matter how it got there. Yeah, I can you can uh, see I actually included the uh, maneuver plotting, and now I can uh, skip ahead. You uh, when we've uh, finally uh, rendezvoused and then uh, are approaching the dock. And so we're gonna need to have the uh, engines uh, aligned with the uh, gaps between the modules, i.e. the module needs to be at a 45 degree angle, which can be accomplished. And so now, the base, it's looking pretty good, but now it needs a tug to get to the mon. We're launching this, uh, I, this uh, payload. Which, um, it was interesting to launch an almost doomed mission. You can already see, I briefly got the camera inside the ferry to uh, ensure that the uh, module was indeed not fully fueled, because this it's basically just a uh, large 2.5 meter diameter fuel tank with a portal engine, probe core, and this is the stuff required to get it to the space station. And so, I tried launching it f fully fueled, Craft did not have the uh, thrust-to-weight ratio to reach orbit, and so I had to launch it partially fueled with the intent of refueling it in orbit. However, um, I miscalculated the amount the amount of fuel I would use uh, to for the ascent, and so we're actually going to start burning the uh, tug as uh, we insert into orbit, which um, that is going to. Uh, Cause us some issues down the line. And so now we're gonna leave this in a brief parking orbit until we can launch the uh, refueling uh, craft to dock with it. Which is uh, this craft. It's actually, there's no payload, it's just a docking port on the upper stage. And it will be able to rendezvous pretty shortly after again another normal launch. I do realize that for some reason the solid rocket booster plumes, there's these strange lighting effects, and they go away after some time. I have no idea why they appear. I've followed the recommendations on the mods page, and part of the reason may be that the mod I use for the well, for the solid rocket booster plumes no longer really exists. But yeah, I'll hopefully be able to find a solution for that at some point. Anyways, the solid rocket boosters are long gone. We're now bringing the core into orbit. And soon enough, we can just in fairing and deploy the second stage. Now, with the solar panels extended, we can uh, quickly rendezvous with the tug. And I've again made some miscalculations that have resulted in us uh, not having enough fuel to fully refuel the tug. Which was kind of a central part of this mission, but I was able to uh, work. Uh, I was able to work despite it. <coughs> and so, while talking was uh, made a bit difficult due to the uh, lack of attitude control on the tug, but eventually I was able to get there with some interesting uh, techniques. I've increased the. Uh, Increase the magnets on the docking ports, and I'll do some interesting rotational maneuvers to finally get them aligned and do a slightly interstellar esque docking with both crafts spinning. Now, conserving the ignitions on the tug, we can rendezvous with the uh, with the surface with the surface space, and uh, soon enough. Uh, we can kill off our relative velocity. 
And soon enough, we should be able to dock. Except, yeah, the uh, refueling vehicle's engine has uh, just failed. So, you know, we had to rely on the uh, tug's engine, which wasn't great and would cause issues later on. I'm getting ahead of myself. We can uh, dock and actually uh, do some fuel transferring. And so now, the surface base is ready to head off to the Mon. Also, you saw I just in the spent stage and did some other house cleaning around it. So now I'm plotting my maneuver to the Mon. I'm not going to show the entire process. Basically, I wanted as, uh, as fuel efficient a maneuver as possible because I have a very slim delta V margin since the tug isn't fully fueled. Plus, I've actually started to. I've had to uh, use some of the uh, fuel in the uh, cr in the sky crane, and I'm also burning the RCS thrusters, which may uh, it may uh, show enough uh, just how desperate I was getting for the extra bit of delta V. But if we complete that maneuver, and our delta V numbers still look good, and we can time warp away from Kerbin, which looks really nice with this uh, latest uh, Scatra. And so, a quick course correction is performed using the RCS. Which, um, yeah, this uh, vessel has a terrible RCS thrust to weight ratio. And so, yeah, all of these involve going to maximum uh, physical time warp and uh, waiting a few seconds for the burn to complete. There's gonna be a lot of these later on, so I've cut out most of them. And so, we time warp towards the Mon. And a classic lag as we change uh, spheres of influence, and uh, the Mon rapidly rushes towards us. And so now it's time to insert into orbit around the Mon, except my communication network has failed me, and I have to wait a bit to do a uh, slightly less uh, efficient uh, maneuver to insert into orbit. But we get there in the end. And now we need to lower orbit into the proper orbit for our landing. However, as we're burning, the engine fails, it uh, ran out of burn time, and so I quickly uh, jettison the uh, spent stage, and I try to activate the RCS on the uh, surf surface space. I'm gonna casually uh, crash the uh, surface space into the uh, spent stage, that uh, surely can't cause any damage. And so now we can lower our aquapsis ever so slightly. And after too many RCS burns, I finally determined that I've uh, lowered my orbit enough and can begin, la begin my landing. You can see my deorbit burn there, and uh, the uh, power descent is pretty standard. And so I'm also using the RCS for this. I still have those maneuvering tugs attached. And I was uh, slightly stressed about the Delta V numbers. But around this point I realized that uh, we are definitely we definitely have enough fuel. And I uh, I realized that this is gonna be a pretty easy landing. And so standard descent. Gain some nice uh, uh, getting some nice uh, HUD off shots. And I considered uh, detaching the uh, tugs at this point. I've already determined that uh, there's still RCS uh, fuel left in them, otherwise known as bomber propellant to normal people, so I should not detach them just yet. And so, um, yeah, we land using the solar panels as legs on the surface before finally detaching the uh, tugs. Now I try to use the SCS to uh, destroy them, and having them impact the surface at high speeds, but uh, they, just, they just correct themselves. Same thing happened to the other ones, so yeah, they're just going to be uh, laying beside the uh, main craft. You can also dress in the uh, sky crane. And so now, it's complete. Yeah, it's not getting crude yet. I did not have the time for that, I sincerely apologize, but you can expect that to be coming in the next video. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and goodbye!